In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create simple content slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks when I click it will show you the option one and you can add your title the detailed text along with the icon when I click with the different color combination it comes the option two then the option three four five and option six and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and i've used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white so white if you see here it's not clearly visible for that i'm going to add one more uh, shape on top of this press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color of your choice any color then hold the shift key and reduce the size and put it in the center and if you want you can reduce it still and to make sure that it is properly aligned i'm just going to select both the shape go to align center align middle and then i'm going to give a shadow effect for that i'm going to select the white uh, oval shape press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here uh, it has been duplicated shape fill make it black right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to increase the transparency here you can see the transparency i'm increasing then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size all right and once this is done bring it here and then send this to back all right so you can see here a shadow effect has been created and once this is done i'm going to select all these three press ctrl g to group it and put it here then i'm going to insert text box i'm going to type the option one or if you want you can just make it one also and make it center align make it white font make it bold and put it in the center I can increase the size also and this also I'm going to select and press ctrl G to group it so once this is done I'm going to insert shapes uh, from the lines I'm going to select the line and just draw a line by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and shape outline you can give any gray color and increase the weight of this one maybe you can increase to two quarters and then i'm going to add one more line by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and rotate you can see here i can rotate right 90 degrees and if i want i can just increase the size a little bit and put it in the center exactly so i would like to have a big size so i'm just going to put it and put it in the center like this so once this is done i'm going to insert text box i'm going to add the title your title center align i'm going to give the same color what i have used here make it bold reduce the size and align it properly and then go to insert text box i can add some detailed text for that i'm going to type lorem within brackets one it will give me some latin text i don't want this uh, long i'm going to cut short this one and then center align reduce the size and i'm going to give a gray color and put it here in the center if you want whichever way you want you can see here you can just adjust it and make sure that this is also aligned properly and once this is done you can go to insert icons you can just choose any icon of your choice click insert and i'm going to reduce the size to 0.5 and put it here this one i'm going to give some gray color so you can see here our text is ready and if you want i can just do it some more modifications alignments that's it and i can just properly align this so this is my first text i'm going to select all press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key together and drag and drop it like this again hold the ctrl shift key and drag and drop like this just to make sure that this is properly aligned i'm going to move towards the left side 
so let all those three go to uh, graphics format align you can just say distribute horizontally so equal spaces will be given between the objects so once this is done i can uh, move it towards the top and if you like to add few more again hold the control shift key and use the mouse key and drag and drop it so you can see here i have added six so now i'm just going to make it to two this is three four five and six now if you would like to change the color you can just select this one move it a little bit select this one and any color of your choice you can select it and put it back here all right and this color also i'm going to give the same color which i have just used all right and if you want i can just change the icons so likewise you can just add change the one by one i'll move it a little bit here and then i'm going to give some different color properly align it all right and then you give the same color here as well so once this is done i'm going to select all this by holding the shift key and i can ungroup this one right mouse click group and ungroup all right then let's do the animation part to do the animation let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one add animation you can go to the more entrance effects click on basic zoom and click ok so the first one on click then i'm going to choose this line and add animation i'm going to more entrance effect i'm going to select stretch click ok and stretch i'm saying from left and this should happen after previous and then for this i can just choose any animation of your choice i'm just going to choose maybe a peek in or circle dissolve in you can see so many different uh, uh, options are available right or i can just select the basic zoom also and click ok and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here and then i'm going to choose both of these options and add animation more entrance effects i'm going to choose uh, maybe peak in you can see here peak in one it should come from uh, bottom and this should come from top all right and this should happen with previous after previous and this should be with previous and the same thing goes here add animation more entrance effects i'm going to choose stretch and click ok this also should happen with previous now if i play it comes something like this you can see here now using the animation painter simply i can just copy the animation so i'm going to select this one click on animation painter click on this one like this i'm going to select this one and click it here so using the animation painter you can quickly uh, copy the animations to the other objects